have been a mistake to publicly announce that my favorite cuisine comes from the south of India because the whole year it was sambar for breakfast, sambar for lunch, and sambar for dinner. In fact, sambar followed me everywhere I went. For those of you who do not know, sambar is a lentil based vegetable stew which accompanies famous rice based dishes such as dosa or idli. From the United Kingdom to Australia, everyone who invited me to their home fed me their version of this much loved lentil soup. Having had so much of it, it was only natural that I became a connoisseur of the dish. I knew where to find the best sambar in any town, let alone my own. And that is where our story begins. Although I grew up in Pune, my heart lies in a simple ashram paradoxically situated amidst the skyline of downtown Mumbai. I have lived there as a mom for 22 years where I have not only been studying ancient Eastern wisdom for my enrichment but also learning how to share its practical application with the world. People who attend my lectures regularly invite me to have lunch at their homes but to their disappointment I usually decline. As a monk, I have to be cautious of our overindulgence. It is essential to stay regulated in our habits but after months of pleading, I hastily accepted an invitation to go to Mr. and Mrs. Ayer's home, a decision which would deepen my understanding of happiness in the long run. Mumbai is notoriously humid in mid-May. It is the type of sticky humidity in which your sweat causes your shirt to stick to your back. But one only felt like that at sea level, not in the cloud-bound apartment of Hari Prasad and Lalita Ayer situated in a high rise in elegant Valley. This area of Mumbai is where 5th Avenue is to New York or Park Lane is to London. Indeed, if there were a version of the board game Monopoly for Mumbai, you would be paying a hefty price if you landed on Wally's Distinguished Towers, Palace Royale or Omkara 1973. And here, I was a monk with hardly a rupee to my name, enjoying the cooling breeze from the Arabian Sea on the 28th floor, home of my gracious hosts. A word of caution, I have changed the names in this story. This adjustment is not only to be sensitive toward the couple whose secrets I am about to share, but also to avoid offending those who have ever fed me somewhere that didn't live up to the standard set by the IS. The lunch started with me getting confused. I had never eaten sambar solely with a spoon, let alone three. They sat me at the head of their rich oak dining table, which overlooked the Another hot dosa. They lovingly smiled at each other. I noticed that he indeed looked like an elegant statesman in his Gucci attire. What about your mother? I asked. My mother stayed at home with us. She picked us up from school, cooked all our meals and was our counsellor when times were hard. Her hair was always tightly tied in a bun, but her arms were always open for a hug. She made our education her top priority because she wanted us to live a better life. Well, it seems like you are leaving it now, I said. Hari Prasad took no notice of my comment and continued. I remembered 